The American dream, the notion that a better future is always out there, waiting for anyone who will work hard enough and long enough to make it happen. It's an idea that lies at the core of American business, and there are few better examples of it than Gary and Rose Paborski. To dream that you're one day gonna own a business? No, that wasn't, I mean, we didn't, we didn't envision that. What we envisioned is making things better, better than it was. What we had was a dream that would get us out of a two-bedroom apartment. I guess uh, we never had a dream of this. We had a dream of making it through tomorrow, being comfortable, having health insurance. Um, our dream was pretty small to begin with. With several children, including a son with spina bifida, making ends meet was a challenge for the young Paborski family. His health was so um, up in the air. It was a week in the hospital, then a week home, a week in the hospital, a week home. So <clears throat> there wasn't balance. There was more emotion than balance, and it was just each day uh, not knowing what to expect. So, you know, if you're caught up in that, um, you don't plan ahead you just respond. The physical and emotional demands of his job in the steel mill put a strain on Gary, who began looking for other options to provide for his family. But I made a decision that I just wanted to do something better in my life. I had to better myself some way or shape or form, whether it was education or starting a business or, or doing uh, something. He became a salesman, taking to the road, at times spending nights in his car, working only for commissions. Every day was just uh, whatever you had to do to put gas in the car and put a quart of milk on the table and uh, feed the kids. I mean, it was uh, very, very difficult at that time. Times were difficult for the family until the turning point that was the 1977 Johnstown flood. With the city in need of a significant cleanup, Gary purchased a used septic pump truck and formed a new company, Gap Pollution and Environmental Control, and went to work. And all I was looking at at that time was basically uh, making an income uh, to feed my family and uh, possibly uh, turn it into a small business. I would start networking with all the contractors that were coming from out of the area and doing a cleanup with big trucks and they brought in uh, jetting equipment to clean the, uh, flush out the pipes, the sanitary lines, the storm lines, the catch, the catch basins. It gave me the opportunity at that time to see a bigger picture of a service that was needed that was only being fulfilled in, say, our area here, Western PA, by people from out of the region. Gary and Rose worked side by side, with Gary providing the mechanical know-how and vision, and Rose providing her keen business sense and negotiating skills. As the business grew, they began modifying and later building their own equipment, leading to yet another opportunity. The trucks that we were buying just weren't getting it done. Uh, they were breaking down, they, they weren't the quality that he was looking for. So at that time, in the service company, we decided to start building our own truck, but it was for our need. Then, once we used it in the power plants, they said, you know, bring that truck back, don't send any other ones. So then we thought, oh my goodness, we have one truck, we have all this money invested in R&D, so we have to start building. A sister company, GapVax, was formed to design and manufacture industrial vacuum equipment. Well, my family always supported everything that we did, that I did. Uh, we had good people that always was driving me to go forward faster, harder, further. Uh, and uh, without the people, none of, none of this would be possible. Today, the companies are still growing and are recognized as industry leaders across the United States and employ more than 300 people. All the people that have been with us through the years, you know, where would we be without them? It's all about the people.